Let's go to Romans chapter 3, verse 23. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Many people use this verse and claim that we all are still sinners. And they may say, since we all are still sinners, we can still get to heaven as long as we believe in God, which makes absolutely no sense. This is saying that we all have sinned, which is true. This doesn't mean that we all are continuing to sin each and every day because that is not true. So we all are not sinners. You may be a sinner, but we all are not sinners. So I pray that this makes sense. And also, if you continue on in reading Romans, you are going to find out that the Apostle Paul is going to speak about righteousness. He is telling you, yes, there is grace, but you still have to live righteously. You still have to follow God's rules and regulations. You can't go around doing as you please and believe that all you have to do is believe in Jesus Christ and everything else is fine. No, you have to change your life. You have to. So don't read this verse here and that verse there. Read the entire book. Place everything in context. Yes, we have grace. Grace helps us serve God, but we still have to follow the rules. What is the point of the Bible if we don't have to follow rules. Kevin, you are speaking about works. What are you talking about? Some people believe that if they be kind to everyone or buy people things that by doing that, God should allow them in heaven. That is works. Following God's rules and regulations that is not works per se. Following God's rules and believing that being a good person as in doing kind things for people by feeding the poor, buying people clothes. Some people believe that by doing good things for people that they can get into heaven. So they believe that, hey, I don't have to follow God's rules. All I have to do is be kind and my kindness is going to grant me passage to heaven, which is not true. That is works. We are not saved by doing kind things for people, which we need to do anyway. But that doesn't save us. What saves us is following God's rules and regulations, staying away from sin. That is what saves us. Grace Grace helps us. So if I do something wrong, I am not going to get punished as much as I should, which <laughs> I have done so much wrong when I was in sin, so much wrong. And I believe I did not get punished as much as I should. Grace. Also, because of Jesus Christ's death, now we have the opportunity to get into heaven. Before, in the Old Testament, nothing they could do could get them into heaven because Jesus Christ did not die yet.
So they had to do animal sacrifices back then because what is the proper word? That would cover their sin, not take away their sin, but cover their sin. Since the animal sacrifices would only cover their sin, I believe I am saying it right. They could not get into heaven after death they would have to go to a place called Abraham's bosom, which is in the Bible. So now, in our current times now, because Jesus Christ died for us, all we have to do now is repent and follow God's rules and regulations. That's it. So we have it better than the people back in the Old Testament, by far. So I pray that this makes sense. Grace helps us, but grace does not replace righteousness. You still have to be righteous. You still have to follow God's rules and regulations. If you don't, what makes you different from a person that don't believe in God. Nothing, because you are still doing the same things as that person. So if that person is a heathen, well, if you are acting like that person, you are a heathen too. Just because you say that you believe in God, if your life doesn't show it, you are a heathen. So let me stop here. God bless you.